Hello everyone, this is Godzilla Wolf 1, and I'm back with another episode of Undertale, the true pacifist route. And last time we defeated the secret boss, Glide, and that was a tough boss, he killed me a lot. And, but we did get a good bit of money, which I used part of to stock up on items, because I'm going to have to fight Papyrus now. And, well, if you know Papyrus, you know that he's not an easy boss fight. By any stretch of the imagination, do I have anything in here that I can get out? Uh, no, I'm saving those for later. Okay, and I also got the health boost from the inn here, so we are ready to go. And all I actually have to do is this. Can I get into the back here or anything because I unlocked it in the last run? No, I can't. Okay, well, time to fight Papyrus! Now, this is, the reason I stocked up on items is because Papyrus doesn't really have any tricks to him. That, I mean, that's kind of the thing with him. He doesn't have any trick to him that can spare him easy, you just gotta fight him. But I want to see if I can do it without dying this time. Human! Allow me to tell you some complex feelings! Feelings like... The joy of finding another pasta lover! The admiration for another's puzzle-solving skills! The desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool! These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now! Kinda. I mean, I like pasta. Like, in real life, I love pasta. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way! After all, I am very great! I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like! I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall be lonely no longer. I, the Great Papyrus, will be your... No! No, no, this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human. You, I must capture you. Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. Okay, so I think I he won't actually start going into his blue attack until I at I try to attack him. So I think I'm just supposed to f keep flirting with him until it doesn't do anything else. That way, because I, I gotta befriend him and a few other characters to get to that, and I think I have to do the dating simulator thing again. Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. Hmm. Oh no! You're meeting all my standards! I guess this means I have to go on a date with you! Let's date later! I actually do know how to make spaghetti. Like, my parent, my mom makes like it all the time. Thinking about what to wear date. Okay, do I have to keep flirting? Oh no! Let's date later! Uh, okay, so... Okay... You flirt? Okay. Okay, that was faster than I thought. Apparently, if I do the spaghetti thing, it speeds it up, because last time it took a lot more. Okay, so I gotta attack him. So you won't fight? Then, let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack! <laughs> yeah, this fake out it really gets you the first time. Oh dear, I forgot what came from that side. You're blue now! That's my attack! <laughs> okay, I don't have to attack him or anything, it just automatically does it, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Hmm, I wonder what I should wear. Okay... No. And I'm not thinking about the date thing. Okay, sorry if I don't talk much, this is, uh, one of those... I'm not really trying to hurt him, I'm just doing this to... ...progress the battle, because there's really nothing else I can do at this point. Okay. Yeah, I'm just doing... Um, do, that doesn't really do anything. 
Okay, it just... It, like, there's no way to speed up the battle or anything. Okay, that actually did some damage. I can almost taste my future popularity. I'm just doing this to, um, because I don't have to attack him. I'm just doing it because... One, I think Papyrus would want you to fight back a little bit because it makes him look cooler. And two, I got nothing better to do. I'm not going to actually kill him or anything. Alright, uh, head of the Royal Guard! Uh, I don't think you're going to be head of the Royal Guard. Undyne's a lot stronger than you are. Uh, I don't know! Is Undyne a lot stronger than he is? I, I think it's just because he's really not trying, from what I've heard. Oop. I forgot about the invincibility frames. Okay. Undyne would be really proud of me! Okay, that was my bad. <laughs> Gotta be serious! Uh, let's eat an item just to be on the safe side. On the side here. Okay, the king wants from a hedge in the shape of my smile. That would actually be pretty cool! Okay... Yeah, I'm not doing it. I'm trying not to do a lot of damage. I don't have to do this or anything, and I think I'm just gonna keep missing here. But it just kind of makes the battle a little less boring, because if I just keep doing the same thing over and over again, it doesn't really look all that cool. And I can't really do anything else. Basically, all you gotta do to um, get through this boss fight is to just survive. That's really it. Phew. Okay. Someone like you is really rare! Sorry I'm not talking much during his attacks. It's actually really hard to... Um, to dodge a lot of them. Oh. I love the music in this game, especially his boss fight. I've been sent away. Uh, dude, if you capture me, how are we going to actually do anything? Like, seriously, if I'm captured, how can I do actually anything? Okay, let's give up. Okay, need another item here. Where's the other half of that bicycle? Okay. Yeah, um, your special attack is gonna get stil- I'm sorry to tell you, but your special attack is gonna get stolen by a dog. Yeah, very soon I will use my special attack! Uh, no you won't, because it gets stolen by a dog. Um, some, there's actually, in the, if you abort the genocide route on Papyrus, which I know about because people tell me about it because I'm never going to actually do the genocide route, um, it actually gives you a bit of a, um, idea of what his special attack actually is, and if I'm not mistaken, it's actually implied to be, um, his bro like his brother Sans Gaster Blasters, I think they're called. Which is kind of cool! This is your last chance before my special attack! Um, no it's not because your special attack is- Man, I'm having trouble dodging that. I shouldn't have trouble dodging it, but I am. Okay, behold my special attack! Yeah, I got stolen by a dog. What the heck? That's my special attack! Hey, you stupid dog! Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone! What are you doing? Come back here with my special attack! <laughs> oh well, I'll just use a really cool regular attack. And I'm going to use a really cool regular item so I don't die! Ah, uh, here's an absolutely normal attack. Hello, dog, carrying his, um... 
Do a special attack. Okay, I think there's just one last bone to dodge. There we go! Okay, I think I beat Papyrus. That was a, I love these boss fights. I'm sorry I don't talk much during them, but some of them are actually really hard. Well, have... It's clear you can't defeat me! I, okay, my voice is giving out there, isn't it? Yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots! Therefore I, the Great Papyrus, elect to grant you pity! I will spare you, human! Now's your chance to accept my mercy! Yes, and I will gladly take it! Uh, no, I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undyne is going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard, and my friend qual quantity will remain stagnant. What should you say? Let's be friends. Really? You want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess... I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowee, we haven't even had our first date, and I've already managed to hit the friend zone. Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human- I, Okay, you should not do that with everyone. I'm just kind of special because I'm sparing literally everyone. Because I don't want to kill anyone because I don't have to kill one anyone, so... Might not want to do that with everyone. I don't think you do anyway, so okay, you should be fine. I hereby grant you permission to pass through, and I'll give my new directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit, except someone with a powerful soul. Like you! That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then as monsters will return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is... Well, he's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I am certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer. Can I get through? Please get home. Can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home, being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have all that date. <laughs> I still wonder how you defy the laws of physics there. Okay, so we beat Papyrus, and now I'm going to go... Um, save and come back. Can I go here now? Please don't enter the mysterious shack. I'm gonna save really quick, and then do the date, and then that'll be the end of the episode. And we'll be done with Snowden, and can move on to the next part, where we should have some more stuff I can do. Namely, befriending, I think, Undyne. Okay, can I go back in here yet? No, I can't. Okay, Papyrus, let's have this date. You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special, a place I like to spend a lot of time. I st I'm sorry I keep saying all Papyrus' words instead of just letting you read them. I just really like talking as Papyrus and Sans. My house! And boy, my throat is dying right now. Okay, let's... I already know what everything in your house is. Welcome to Scenic My House! Enjoy and take your time. I think I just have to go into his room. That's my room! If you finish looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Okay, let's just have this date because I've seen your room before. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Yes. Because I don't think anything changed. And, in case you d don't remember last time, apparently monsters have dates in the forms of boss battles! Here we are, on our date! I've actually never done this before. But don't worry, you can spell prepare. You can't spell prepare without several letters from my name! 
I stand your official dating rule book from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one, press the C key on the keyboard for the dating HUD. Wow, yeah, I feel so informed. Quite, I do question why that HUD was actually on there, and I see the dog on the radar. I think we're ready for step two. Step two, ask them on a date. Ahem, human. I, the great papyrus, will go on a date with you. Really? Wow, I just recognized his face. <laughs> like the face he had there. I guess that means it's up. time for part three. Step three, put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wearing co wear clothing. That bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that. Earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning. Well, technically, yes, because I went back in time and knew I was going to have this date with you. The first time, no. But the second time, yes, because I knew this was going to happen due to time travel. <laughs> like, seriously, due to time travel. No, you planned it all. You're way better at dating than I am. No, you're dating power. Nee. Nee, nee. Don't think you've bested me yet. Hi, the great papyrus. I've never been beaten at dating, and I never will, because I think this is only the first date you've ever been on. Okay, except for me in the previous timeline, but that's, that involves time travel. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing, in fact. I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes, just in case someone has to, happens to ask me out on a date. Behold! Yep. Yeah, it actually looks pretty cool. No! A genuine compliment! However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further. Unless you find my secret, but that won't happen. Hmm, what else I could? This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Tip, your expert tip, article and closing can always be modified. Human souls are stronger than monster souls, but the souls of our shoes, on the other hand, are about the same. I'm just seeing what it is because I haven't done in a lot of the, of this. I see. You like crossing my biceps with floating hearts, but who doesn't? Uh, what are these? I see. I see. You like cr Okay, I thought that... So... Okay, it's right here. My hat! My hat! My hat! Well then, you found my secret! I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. You know what it is? Yeah, spaghetti. Spaghetti! That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right, but oh so wrong. This ain't any plain old pasta. This is an artesian work. Silicon spaghetti finely aged in an oaken case. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way you can go further. I'll eat it. What a passionate expression. You must really like my cooking. And by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do! <laughs> Wait, I just realized, is it, where's half of his head? Like, that's on a plate, it should be balanced on top of his head. That's kind of creepy now that I've seen it. I don't think I can unsee that. <laughs> what? The ratings are- the date power is off the charts! Human, it's clear now! You're madly in love with me! Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me ex to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I, um... Boy, is it hot in here, is it just me? Yeah, I know, you don't really love me, and I don't really love you either. It was just kind of a date due to... Well, okay, this was really fun. Like, this was a really fun date that involved weird boss mechanics. But honestly, I kind of have a crush on someone I haven't technically met yet. 
Well, not crush in the sense that, but of the people I can date in this game, there's someone I haven't met yet that I kind of would like to try this with, so anyway. Oh shoot. Human, I, I'm sorry, I don't like you in the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I'd be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I've only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait. That's wrong. I can't fail at anything, human. I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this never all, this all never happened. Okay, but uh, could you put in with a, a word with undying so maybe she doesn't try to kill me? Because I'm probably going to have a date with her eventually because I think that's how this works and how I have to befriend the three people I have to... Be, 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 I got tongue-tied. Befriend to save the world. So if you could do that, that would be a really nice favor. After all, you are very great. It'd be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. Yeah, I knew that. And hey, someday, you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. Okay. Oh, oh, and if you need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime, platonically. Well, gotta go. Nee <laughs> Okay, I like the dating minigame. Okay, can I actually go in here? Because I wonder if the key somehow did it. Huh. I was kind of hoping they would actually let you do that. Oops, I didn't mean to go into his room. Okay, well, that was dating with Papyrus. Again. My voice is giving out. So I'm going to end this as soon as we get back to the save point. Anyway, next time we will be heading into the waterfall, I believe it is to face off with Undyne again, and I need to go rest my vocal cords, so see you guys next time. Like, comment, and subscribe. Bye! I still don't have a catchphrase.